Hey, what's up, geeks? Uh, happy Corona season. You know, this is uh, wild how things are going on right now. Uh, the company I work for is having us currently work remotely. So, um, hey, it is what it is. But anyways, in this video, we're going to tackle the next greater element algorithm. I'm going to go ahead and read the description. You're given two arrays, nums1 and nums2, where nums1 elements are subsets of nums2. Find all the next greater numbers of nums1 element and the corresponding places of nums2. The next greater number of a number x in nums1 is the first greater number to its right in nums2. If it doesn't exist, output negative 1. So for example, nums4, we're going to go from nums4. Nums4, 4, 4 is actually the first number in nums1 array. So we're going to go to the fourth, where the fourth uh, number is located in nums2 and they go to the right, and there's no number greater than 4. So we are going to return a negative 1, as you can see in this description. Next, we're going to go to 1, where 1 is located in nums2 array. Next greatest number is 3. So we're going to put 3. Our next number is 2, and we're going to go to the right of 2. Nothing exists, so we put negative 1. All right, so that's how, how this algorithm works. I want you guys to copy everything you have here and then return to your ID or text editor. Now, once again, you guys see me looking back and forth. That's because I've already completed this. So bear with me. Now, we're going to create two variables. There's our const length. And it's going to be equal to num2 dot length. I'm going to create another variable, which is a constant, and it's going to be equal, hash is going to be equal to an empty object. We're going to create a regular looping array. Let index equal zero, as long as our index is less than our length. We're going to increment our index in each loop. Now, let's create a variable called j. And we're going to set j equal to index plus 1. Now, let's create another loop. I want you guys to just add um, semicolons, and then we're going to have j minus length, and then we're going to increment our j in each loop. So usually, guys, what we do is that we would set our value of j inside of our for loop. Now, the reason we're not doing that is because we want to actually reference this variable j outside of our for loop. So let's go ahead and just keep the code as it is. Now if our num2 j is greater than nums1, excuse me, num2 i, because j is an index over to the right, remember, um, if you take a look at our description. Hey, what's up guys, Deron Brown here. I just wanted to remind you, at the end of this video, make sure you check out the website, www.geekmode.tech. There you can learn more about React Native, Firebase, and Redux. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you check out our free course as well. I'm sure you enjoyed it. Now, that's enough of me, and I'll let you guys get back to the video. Four, we're gonna find four in the next array, which is gonna be J, and then we're gonna go to the right of that. All right, so we're in our nums2 array. We're using our index of i, and j is i plus 1. So basically, we can see how this logic works. We go to the right of our i, which is j. j is not greater than i. So because of that, it's going to be negative 1. So hash num2. I'm 
we're going to get the index or i index we're going to set it equal to num 2 j all right so that's if j is actually greater than our nums uh our number one index and then we're going to break out of our loop One second. It says our J is not looping. Very I. Okay, let's ignore that for right now and come back to it if it becomes a problem. So, anyways, if J is equal to the length. We're going to use our hash object at our nums two at the index of i. We're going to set it equal to num two j. Okay. Let's make sure nums two actually nums two. That was a mistake. Nums two negative one. Okay. Now after we finish our loop, we're going to go ahead and just return our values. So return num one dot map item greater than hash item. Okay, guys, and I made a mistake here. I want you guys to go ahead and just move your break from there and add your break after we added our logic uh, associated with our hash. So now I want you guys to go ahead. We're going to console log our code or stuff. So I'm going to console log the actual ending result. And then based off the description, we should get negative one, three, negative one. Snowed the code. And this is our next greater element. Exactly, negative one, three, negative one. So this is what we were expecting. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna remove this console log. I'm gonna grab all of our code and then return to leak code and paste it in. I thought I was already signed in. That was my mistake. So we see that we have our code in. Let's go ahead and run it. And everything's passing. All right, geeks, that's it for this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace.